Hello everyone, this is Dr. Pratibha Tomar from Kumari Mayavati Government Girls Degree College, Badalpur. The topic of my presentation is how to, what will I do to achieve academic excellence in my institutions? So the first question arises, what is academic excellence and the various ways to achieve it? Academic excellence is a feature that everyone desires to achieve, whether it is the parents or the students or the teachers all of them want to achieve academic excellence in their career for their children or for the students parents also want their children to excel in their studies and whatever career they choose teachers also aspire to achieve excellence in their career and in the institutions they are associated with in order to explain academic excellence, it can be described as the ability to achieve higher grades in all academic activities by performing with confidence and good efforts. Academic excellence is achieved by combined efforts of students, parents and teachers simultaneously. However, the teachers exhibit greater responsibility than anyone else for the students to achieve academic excellence. There are various ways in which academic excellence can be achieved. For example, instructional design quality. While there are countless of factors in the academic achievement of a student, few are more powerful than instructional design. This is a topic where we can publish an entire book or post of its own. But just consider that the understanding is in large part a product of design and that starts with most macro elements of all. It means what is being studied that is curriculum, how the curriculum is sequenced that is curriculum maps for example and how each is designed to maximize learning opportunities. The second thing is accuracy and alignment. Accurately unpacking the standard, not oversimplifying it, nor making it more complex than it has to be, is the mantra behind accuracy and alignment. Making sense of what the standard says and understanding exactly what the student needs to know and be able to do to get there. Accurately acknowledging the rigor of the standard, accurately, which means what it says, not what you think it should be. The standards describe a minimal level of proficiency. Feel free to push students above and beyond, but not until they have mastered the language described in the standard. Data forms and quality is the third measure by which uh, academic excellence can be achieved. A climate of assessment and ways to measure understanding provide usable data that teachers can grab and use to revise planned instructions. Fresh, trustworthy and relevant data teachers can use and students can understand to let them know what should come next. If it doesn't answer that question, what now? It is an assessment of narrow value. Data is in Units, lessons and activities are designed to flexibly respond to that data in authentic ways without leaving it all on the teacher's shoulders to do so on the fly or bars at the local data team meeting. For example, we can use exit slip teaching technology that can help aggregate and report usable data consistently. Whole literacy. Literacy in terms of being able to read a variety of texts, both critically and holistically. The teacher should be able to decode grade level texts of appropriate complexity and then be able to take that text apart in terms of ideas, evidence, theme and craft. Further, whole literacy as is being able to write clearly and eloquently about what is read, learned and thought across physical and digital forms for a variety of audiences and for a variety of purposes. In short, 
it is the ability to seamlessly use the writing process to create and refine arguments and narrate experience for both academic and as authentic purposes the next aspect is student motivation and engagement the teacher should motivate his or her students as well as the teacher should motivate his or himself himself or herself student motivation as in helping students developing intrinsic motivation student motivation as in supporting students emotionally metacognitively and intellectually to give themselves to the process of mastering academic content a student's motivation is everything teacher without engagement is like tweeting constantly with zero followers singing to an empty stadium we often use words and phrases like student engagement student centeredness curiosity and so on and all of these are great but a motivated student with zero technology and limited resources and support will perform light years better than an apathetic student in a 21st century classroom transfer the next is transfer of knowledge it is one of the various indicators that the above parameters are working self initiated transfer self initiated transfer is a key indicator of understanding it can be defined here as the ability to transfer knowledge or skill to a new and unfamiliar context preferably preferably unprompted in another way students who know what to use what knowledge when without being told to do so is called transfer some other general factors that can be used by a teacher to achieve academic excellence in their institution are teacher clarity when a teacher begins a new unit of study or project with students he or she clarifies the purpose and learning goals and provides explicit criteria on how students can be successful it's ideal to present models or examples to students so that they can see what the end product looks like it means the teacher should have a clear picture of what he or she is going to teach the students or what he or she going going to give the students a project second thing is classroom discussion teacher need to frequently step off stage and facilitate entire class discussion this allows students to learn from each other it is also a great opportunity for teachers to formatively assess how well students are grasping new content and concepts the third step is feedback how do learners know they are moving forward without steady consistent feedback they often want along with individual feedback which may be written or verbal teachers need to provide whole group feedback on patterns they see in the collective class growth and areas of need students also need to be given opportunities to provide feedback to the teachers so that they can he or she can adjust the learning process materials and instructions accordingly another thing is formative assessments in order to provide students with effective and accurate feedback teachers need to assess frequently and routinely where students are in relation to the unit of studies learning goals or end product summative assessment besides this there are some other factors that a teacher should have a never say, uh, never ending desire to achieve excellence and teacher should have a never ending desire to make things more and more adjustable beautiful for their students understandable for their students a teacher should have set for themselves very higher goals so that they can achieve academic excellence thank you